Hello everyone, <laughs> happy Friday. The reason why we are here tonight is to finish Clock Tower 3 and we are really, 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 really close to the end. Uh, I think the only thing uh, that's left is um, the final boss fight and then and then we are done. Uh, but it doesn't mean that it's going to be easy. I uh, know that... Uh... Okay, I'm just messing with stuff, so don't mind me. So I know that uh, there's not that much left from the game. Oh my goodness, thank you so much for the resub, Ems! 24 months happy two years oh my goodness time flies so flipping fast 24 months of shenanigans more years to come love you k and keep staying awesome oh thank you so much ems and look who's talking please keep being that amazing person i know because you are amazing and wonderful and thank you once again for being here with me through this through this journey <laughs> for 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 two years now this is mind-blowing that's just mind-blowing <laughs> and of course i love you too ams let me send you some bojos back look at all those bojos saying i love you <laughs> so this is why you said that today is a special day right i saw that message on stream chat before I, I went live so that was the reason i guess yeah that was the reason <laughs> okay so i'm just messing with uh, obs i want to put the gameplay to separate window yeah thank you very much game for letting me do that and thank you very much obs for letting me do that okay technical difficulties solved <laughs> today is your name day too oh my goodness wait let me let me grab my oh, let me grab my calendar oh my goodness wow happy name day <laughs> in sweden at least that's so nice. I really hope that you celebrate your name day somehow. Did you do something or are you planning to do something to celebrate it, Ems? <laughs> what even is this game? Michael, this game is amazing. <laughs> and you arrived just in time for the final boss fight, which is going to be a pain in the ass. And this is exactly what I wanted to start telling you all that, okay, the... The last thing we have to do is to beat the final boss, but it won't mean that it's going to be easy because this boss is actually a pain in the butt. You will see why. I I, I will show you why. Is this a problematic boss? And um, yeah, if we still have some time after, you know, beating this game, uh, we're gonna play another one, which is around an hour long. Uh, which called Sarah is alone. Uh, Sarah is missing, not Sarah is alone. Sarah is missing. Uh, haven't played that game before, and maybe tonight is going to be the night when I am going to play it. If not, then I will figure out a date when when I can stream it or I will record it off stream. We will see. But yeah, uh, this is Clock Tower 3, Michael, which is a PlayStation 2 game. A survival horror made by Capcom and um, Alisa. Alisa, yes, that was sledgy. So, in this game, I will show you in a second what the hell are we doing. <laughs> Didn't even think about it when well, I went for a really nice lunch with mom, made maki rolls, celebrating 24 months as a sub. So, today has been super nice. Oh, so you are streaming? Yes! I'm so glad to hear that so many nice stuff is happening with you today, Ems. I'm just so happy. It always makes me happy when you guys are happy. 
Okay, so now I can show and not only tell what the hell is this game, so... Let me introduce our protagonist called Alyssa Hamilton, who's a so-called ruder. Her job is to kill, uh, kill mass murderers, um, who became mass murderers because they uh, were possessed by an evil spirit. And uh, I'm done killing. I'm done killing the. I'm done with killing all of the subordinates. So the last, the last one I have to kill. And I have to deal with is the main boss. And this is exactly what we are going to do tonight. <laughs> you remember this lady? Oh, that's great, Michael. Yeah, she's Alyssa. Who has a panic meter instead instead of a health bar. <laughs> Good evening, Cop. Welcome in. It's great to see you. How are you doing? I was here for a guy breaking into her room, I think. Yeah, that's true, you were here, I think. I think at the beginning when I started playing. For the first stream. When we had to deal with Sledgehammer. And he scared the shit out of me. So since then, Alita became a badass, you will see. She's such a badass now and pretty experienced in killing subordinates. Okay, so these arrows are really important. I'm kind of proud of myself for not uh, wasting any of them. And I could save up all of the magical arrows for the last boss fight because I'm gonna need them. I could probably get through if I crouch down. Oh, really? Chilling evening after work. That's nice. Happy Friday and have a relaxing evening. that we will have, you know, an opportunity to save right before the shit hits the fan, but oh, we are already here, so I don't think so. Aha! Now I see what's the big idea. Now I can pull this one too. Why they never did the remake? That's a pretty good question. I think this game would deserve a remake. Oh wait, oh wait, wait, wait. Look, I can save here. 
Oh, thank God. So I think this game aged pretty well. So even if they don't do a remake, this is still enjoyable, but yeah, I would definitely check the remade version out. Nowhere. Do I need to go? Oh, never mind. So we are at the top of the clock tower, finally, again. And now we know the truth. That our grandfather was the creepy old man all along. Grandpa. I've been waiting for you, Elisa. You don't know how hard I've tried to find Butter's castle in order to become one with you. It's some old I guy. Searched and searched for three <laughs> That's Elisa's grandfather. At last I found it. Butter's castle used to stand in exactly the same spot where the Hamilton house is now. It's not a coincidence. It's all the entities doing. This is our destiny. So her grandfather became Grandpa. obsessed with all of this shit and Don't he wanted to so be... Sad. You know, he wanted to live forever. Please don't do this game. Once the ritual of engagement is complete, you and I will become a new entity, and we can be together forever. No! Please, so, Grandpa, yeah, he let the evil spirit senses. possess him. And give me my mum back! Your mum? Your mother is right there. Mum? So now... Oh crap, there's the mother. So now Grandpa wants to do a ritual where he cuts Elisa's heart out. She married that weak, lily livered, good for nothing Philip. And then she tried to prevent me from becoming one with my most precious granddaughter. That's why she's there. There was no other way, Elisa. Damn you! You're not my grandfather. And he's also a bit obsessed anymore. with Elisa. But I know that I'm a ruder. I'll destroy you and save my mother. Fool. 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 Oh, the final form. The Lord. In a few minutes, the clock will strike 12, announcing the arrival of your 15th birthday. Then the ritual of engagement will commence. <laughs> now, Elisa, time to lie down on the altar and prepare to surrender your heart to me. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh, look, there's Ron. Where are you, Elisa? Elisa! Discount Ron to the rescue. Elisa. Come on, Dennis. Dennis! Oh my god. Your dear no! <laughs> I know this is so, you know, this is a sad moment, but <laughs> the remix. That was a nice remix. Of the earth, Butters and I will now carry out the ritual to become a new entity. Ghosts haunting the human realm, subordinates dwelling in the shadows, gather here to witness the glorious ritual of engagement. 
Oh, look! They are back! I have questions. <laughs> the time has come at last. My dearest Alyssa, merge into one entity with me so that we can be together. Oh, Michael, I oh, will try to answer them. <laughs> Judgment 115 victims, 2280 years, and he has twice of the regular health bar, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, and I can't pause the game. What is this? Oh, nice, I can pause it now. Okay, so let me catch up with the stream chat. Yeah, Silent Hill 2 looks still good on PS2, yes. I'm glad when games like Silent Hill and like Clock Tower and the Resi games age well. Like I guess um, Resident Evil Outbreak also looks amazing on PlayStation 2 as far as I remember. Okay, let's see the questions Michael has. Who are the spirits? Why are they there? Why does the granddad want to be one with a child? What is happening? Why does he keep changing from wannabe pop to wannabe musketeer? <laughs> okay, so let's start at the beginning. So the grandfather is a bit obsessed with uh, Alyssa and he also wants to live forever. So he... He did some research to figure out how he can live forever and um, he found this solution that he, he has to sacrifice Elisa and cut out her heart because Elisa has these magical powers that you know it goes down in the family and every every newborn girl has it in the family uh, so she's a ruder and her job is to get rid of evil spirits and, and stuff like that. Uh, so because of these magical powers, the grandpa can, you know, live forever if he sacrifices a ruder, her own granddaughter, granddaughter. And yeah, those evil spirits you saw, they were the previous bosses. And they were, you know, the subordinates of whatever the grandpa became because at the same time he's a grandpa he's the really 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 odd um i think he the lord bros was the first idiot in the family so yeah he was the first evil mastermind in the story and then he has this creepy old man. I think that just, you know, a cover up so no one can know that he's actually the grandfather. Yeah, and now um, Elisa became 15 years old at this very moment, which means that her powers are at the peak, and now she's the strongest. 
from now on she will get weaker and weaker but now at this very moment she has the strongest wooder powers that one can imagine and this is why we are going to kick his ass right now but it won't be easy it won't be easy because he can also bind me like this and like this and like this and he also has a special attack just like Alyssa uh, I guess I'm gonna die now but at least you could see that how easily you can die if you are not careful enough okay so it makes makes sense now i tried my really best to explain it but <laughs> yeah she's dead that's it game over <laughs> this was just a warm-up round so don't worry about it Oh, Ems redeemed some Hungarian time. Okay, let's do this. So, since now I have five minutes to talk Hungarian. So, get ready, guys. Úristen, ez nagyon jó lesz így. Legalább magyarul átkozhatom az anyját. Mert káromkodhatok magyarul. Szóval nem egyszerű kinyírni ezt a fickot. Ezért mondtam, hogy... Hosszú menet lesz. Ó, oh, nem tanultál mostanában semmit, úgyhogy vissza kell rázni, hogy ó! Oh. Ó, oh, fuss, fuss, fuss! Ó, oh, bakker! Ne röhög ki, te nem normális vén szar! Ez az, szabad vagyok! Ennyit a szabadságomról! Igen, szabad. Szóval azt akartam mondani, hogy... Ó, uh... oh, hogy rohadj meg! Kelj már fel! Azt akartam mondani, hogy uh, láttam, hogy egyesek úgy védik ki ezt a lilaszart, ha fogalmaztatok ilyen szépen, hogy Elisza legugol. Csak ebben az a baj, hogy én nem tudok ugolni. Nem itt béna vagyok benne, nem azt, hogy nem tudok, csak... Csak béna vagyok benne. Tehát, hogy így nem. Nem google a csaj. Jó lesz, jó lesz! Maradj a földön! Ó, oh, a fenelje meg! El kell kezdenem használni azokat a varázsnyilakat különben. Az életben nem ölöm meg. Kétszer kell lefogyasztanom azt a rohadt headbart. És természetesen neki 78-szor több élete van, mint nekem. Csak hogy jól érezzem magam. Oké, okay, újabb kör. Újabb kör. Láttam valakit, aki szerintem Satsperven 10 perc alatt kinyírta ezt a mukit. 
És alig, alig sebezte. Nem, mint a muki őt. És így, hogy? Úgy, hogy ő tud kukolni. Konkrétan úgy. De nem tudok, én béna vagyok. Megbindolni a másikat. Oké, okay, vége. <gül> szóval ez arról szól, hogy ki tudja többször megbindolni a másikat, és tudja a saját kis különleges támadását lenyomni a torkám. Csak amíg neki egy kis elég, amíg nekem olyan Hatszor biztosan el kéne találnom az én különleges támadásommal, amire elég kicsi az esély. <gül> Főleg, ha lépten nyomon meghalok. De semmi gáz, össze fogom magamat szedni. Legfeljebb itt alszunk, tehát nincs gond. Semmi gond. <gül> Oké, okay, let's switch back to English. So... I don't even remember what I said in Hungarian. What did I say? I remember, so... I saw someone who... killed this fucker in 10 minutes without taking any damage. And... he actually... dodged these uh, purple sheets while crouching. I just can't really crouch at this point. So I'm just gonna run away. I'm good at running away. Oh, why am I speaking Hungarian again? You might ask. Because it's easier to swear in Hungarian. <laughs> oh, help me. Oh, fudge. It's okay, it's okay. <gasps> that wasn't nice. This is the end. Oh, look who's here. Oh, I have a Mimi. Mimi is sleeping here. You can't see her, but she's sleeping right under the monitor. And she's cute. I don't want to wake her up, but if she wakes up, you know, by herself, then I will definitely show her to you guys. She grew so much. She's a fine young lady, right? Okay, I got this. I got this. I've done this before. I killed him once. Ten years ago. Oh crap! Oh, I 
Look, I can do it. <laughs> Can't believe I can do it. For some reason, for some reason, I don't remember how can I use the um, special arrows. So, Google. R1 Pressing R1 Oh, sorry <laughs> I scared the kitten I didn't mean to do that So the controller started vibrating and it scared her Okay, so I can... I, I was pressing R1 but Nothing really happened. Never mind. Okay, time for judgment. Let's pretend that this is the first time I do this. There's no escape. That's nice. There's no escape. My God, <laughs> I have to get far from him. That's why I'm doing this. There's no escape. 
Oh, I'm stuck. He's coming. Oh, look, he's draining my health. Oh, God. He's gonna kill me. Hi there, Foxy Queen. <laughs> Welcome in. I'm glad to hear that you are doing okay. As for me, I'm fine, thank you. Just struggling a little. I guess I'm gonna die. But uh, yeah, this was a nice. This was a nice round. Look, we almost zeroed the first half bar. <laughs> Alyssa! Alyssa! <laughs> I love that sound alert. <coughs> Terribly sorry, kitten. Okay, I, I did the same thing again and scared my poor kitten to death. He didn't want to scare you. Just just go and sleep. Yeah. Poor Mitzi. Poor baby girl. Clocktower wanted to make more sense than this one. <laughs> I haven't played the one and two, but oh my god, cat, what did you do? So the cat is just lying on the keyboard now, and she pressed something, so my display just disappeared. Never mind. So yeah, I haven't played the uh, Clock Tower one and two, but I really, I really want to. Oh fuck. Kill me, I don't care. This is the end. So I really wanna one day. If I can manage to you know get it. But yeah, there are uh, there are stuff in this game that make make no sense. So I, I guess I know what uh, what you're talking about. <laughs> Okay, that was a really, really nice game over. I guess we are progressing. Okay, I'm just gonna fix what the kitten messed up for me. Oops. Look, I learned how to avoid these fucking attacks it just sometimes it doesn't work oh it hit me i wasn't far enough Okay, I'm free. 
that's going to hit me. Which is not a problem if I can bind him. What are we going to do next? that you can't change the aim halfway you can't change where are you aiming at okay i'm fucked up this is the end <laughs> okay so this auto aim thing has its advantages and disadvantages at least i don't have to worry about you know aiming but at the same time, if I wanna, you know, correct where I am aiming at, now that's a problem because I can't do it. <laughs> hunting Ground is more fun than this. Oh, Hunting Ground is also on my infinite list of games that I need to play. But I heard many good things about it, so I really hope that one day I can grab it and play it. <laughs> But I guess I guess I'm improving, like getting closer and closer to zero is first half bar. Look who's here! Hi living! <laughs> Don't give up, you got this. Thank you so much. And thank you so much for the PTs too. Guys, if you don't know Living and haven't been on their channel, please do so. They are amazing and an incredibly talented Resident Evil streamer playing no damage runs and other pretty challenging stuff in Resident Evil games. It's always fun to watch you play the game. So I learned how I can dodge this. Sometimes works, sometimes not. Yes, it's just a matter of timing. Yeah, that hit me. I just keep repeating this. Finding arrow. 
Mo Oh, thank you so much for the follow, Foxy Queen. <laughs> thank you, thank you, and welcome to the club. Sorry if I'm being silent and stuff. I'm just trying to, you know, concentrate. <laughs> was almost too late. Binding and we got him. I guess. Oh, there goes my bind. You want stars? Fucking I'll give you stars. Can I give him stars? Good. 
Ah, stuck. <laughs> I'm stuck. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> but wow, we were so close to kill him. I, I, I think I'm getting the hang of it. <laughs> and yeah, Leon is taking a break. And that's, that's a serious problem. That's a serious problem. <laughs> We made a comparison between Ashley and Elisa, but the difference is this girl can at least fight and take care of herself. Yes, at the beginning, Elisa is really just a schoolgirl. She is freaked out from everything that, you know, she sees. But after that, she, become, she becomes a badass. And I kind of like the character development here. <laughs> we were so close. We were really close and and I'm sure that we will we will make it. Maybe maybe this time. Maybe this time. Let's see. Lord fucker. It's time for judgment. Why did you stand up? It's a mistake. He's too close. I have to get out of here. It's too close. He got too close. Oh, that hit me 
Sure. Yeah, this is the last boss. <laughs> and it gives me gives me so much problems. Such a pain in the back in the box. Okay, I'm dead. No, I'm not. Maybe now. No. Oh yes, I'm free. Maybe I won't die. Or not now. Got me too. The next one is going to be a binding arrow. But I'm fucked. Charge your Oh, 
Oh, she got me. What does the binding arrow look like? It's um, so you can see that I have colorful arrows on the top left corner, and the green ones are just deal greater damage. The red ones are the binding arrows, and they give you an insta bind. Charge your arrows. There's no escape. How dare you? My last special arrow. was a mistake. Fuck you. But we're a spirited child. But that's enough. Now be a good girl. Thank you, thank you. Don't you want to live happily with me for all eternity? No, thank you. Never. Never. Never, never. You belong to me. <laughs> Alyssa, take strength from me. The mother! There's no escape! Alyssa is growing up in the 
the mother. We need the mother. We need Nancy. Look at how badass is she. Give up, grandfather. I won't allow the ritual to happen. She's just the goddess at this Never. point. <laughs> Don't freeze like that, please, game. It always freezes at the best moment. Just throw the mom's head at him. <laughs> that would do the trick, I guess. Okay, thank you. Can we move on? No. No. Okay. For a second I thought that we are done. So Mama Nancy is back. The whole place is falling apart because of course it's falling apart. The game is crashing. Because of course it's crashing. Alias all the discs. Can I watch a cutscene without lagging and stuff? Please. Of course, Dennis is alive. Our personal Mom, Ron Weasley. We did it. We did it, Mum. We did it, Dennis. I know that you are relieved because Dennis is alive. See? The victory fanfare for Dennis. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's over! We are done with it! And it took me less time than I expected. So now I am happy. <laughs> Let me catch up quickly with the chat until you know the credits roll. Ashley will always be the girl I got to protect no matter what. Always. Yeah, she has to be protected. We need to protect Ashley. At all cost. <laughs> oh, thank you so much guys for, you know, cheering on me. Crossing your fingers and being here. It, it went well compared to the suffering I expected. It went pretty well. So I'm happy. I'm really happy. Speaking of the Final Fantasy fanfare, I was so excited when you played it during the when they played it during the Parade of Nations. Yes! I have to watch the whole thing because I just saw that small glimpse that I retweeted as well on Twitter. But I wanna, I wanna watch the whole thing because it's just so cool. It reminds me when during uh, the Winter Olympic Games, uh, during the Parade of Nations, 
uh, South Koreans were playing K-pop songs and I was sitting there watching the whole ceremony with my family and lip singing and dancing because I knew the songs and they 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 looked at me like what the hell is wrong with you and I was so hyped and this is the same feeling I guess yes they played K-pop K-pop songs and also at the closing ceremony uh, I think EXO performed yeah there was EXO and SIA yeah these these two performers were, were there I remember them and it was so cool to watch them you know performing live indeed I remember SIA was amazing baddest female <laughs> So I, I, I love stuff like this. Oh, okay. So I have a good news. Mimi's awake. So look, you might remember that when she was small, she was really small. Like, I guess this small. She could easily fit on the palm of my hand, and now. <laughs> She's this... she's this big! I love you too. Yes, I love you too. <laughs> and it tickles. So, she grew a lot. And she's an amazing small bean. Except when she's biting my fingers and my toes and stuff like that. Also, um, she accidentally scratched me today. I don't know if you can see it, but it's kind of red and bloody. Because she almost fell down from my lap and she just, you know, tried to not fall. And yeah, at the end she fell. And she also scratched me. But that's okay. I got used to it. I I am, you know, the mother of Bodo. It's no surprise. <laughs> they played a lot of twice on the radio on my way to a convention during the Olympics. Also it was such a good time for Momon and Shining at all. Yes. Red Velvet performed for the committee during the Olympics. Yeah! That's true, that also happened. Oh, what a time to be a K-pop fan, or to be someone who's familiar with this pop culture which is present in South Korea. And right now, what a time to be a video game fan, or an anime fan, or in general someone who, who loves Japanese culture and stuff like that. It's great. At times like this I feel special. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, indeed. Okay, Mimi, please calm down. Now she is biting my fingers. Wish it wasn't during a pandemic. It would have been huge. Yeah, because now there are no spectators. And also I heard that despite, you know, all of the precautions, uh, there are already people infected with COVID among the among the sportsmen. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that there are other points, and I guess it depends on yeah, it depends on many factors, uh, like you know the. I guess the time you save, the times you die, how many special arrows you use, how many uh, holy water you use and stuff like that. There is a specific list and as you can see I collected zero ruder points which is no surprise. <laughs> okay, a new element has been unlocked so I'm just gonna save my game to the next slot. Uh, before you ask which is the new what is the new element uh, it's a, a costume I guess it's a costume for Elisa so now I guess we have a closed key that um, 
that she can acquire and she can change clothes. There are some special costumes. And also, I guess now we unlocked a harder difficulty setting. I'm gonna check it in a moment and show it to you guys. Ow! Don't bind, bite me. Thank you. So, oh yeah, and also the theater option is uh, available right now, so we can rewatch previous cutscenes, which is, I don't think, is a good idea. Since <laughs> we all know what happens when I, I watch cutscenes in this game. But yeah, the game should ask me about the difficulty setting I wanna, you know, take, but didn't ask me maybe i have to go to the save file i can i can skip cutscenes finally thank you very much thank you very much maybe if i load that save file i can see the hard mode i don't want to play it i just want to check if it's there you know we're gonna see no nothing special happens there's a way you can get the wardrobe key there we have it, so... I guess I will show you the costumes. Because we can get to Alyssa's room. We don't need any special stuff to get there. And now we can open the wardrobe. If I find it. Here it is. Yeah. Oh, I love that outfit. That's just like a Roman goddess. Look at her. So pretty. I love this so much. If I replay this game, Elisa definitely will wear this costume. Okay, what else we have here? That's Jean's outfit. It's a cowgirl. Now she's a cowgirl. Look at her. She's a cowgirl. Okay, what else do we have here? Okay, it looks like an armor. Let's go and take a look at it. Wow, now that's badass. Look at this. Okay, there's more, there's more. Is that some kind of leather outfit? You're breathtaking! <laughs> You're all breathtaking! Okay, this one reminds me of uh, the special outfit that Rebecca can, uh, can have in Resident Evil Zero when you are playing the Wesker mode. That's the outfit I just remembered right now. And of course the last one is the school girl outfit. Let's choose this one. Because this is so pretty. Oh, and look at that. Oh, so pretty. Really like a goddess. Yeah, I, I'm done with, you know, fangirling over these outfits. <laughs> There's a chance they will cancel the Olympics in advance depending on the situation. Yes, um, that might happen. Because I, I, I think the numbers are increasing. And there are more and more infected people. Going up early to watch Japan's national volleyball team tomorrow. Rooting so much for Japan versus USA in the final. Yes! Oh, I 
so thinking about Japanese volleyball, there's an anime. I don't know what's the exact English title, but if I translate back from Hungarian, then it's Mila the Superstar, and it's about a young girl who's playing volleyball. It's a sports anime about a girl who's a volleyball player, and oh my goodness, when I was small, I watched it a lot. It was pretty early in the morning on the weekends. Oh, I will, I will, I will have to check. I'm sure that it's available somewhere online. I'm just gonna make a note to check it. Mila the Superstar. Yeah, okay, so this is the end of Clock Tower 3, but don't go too far uh, because we still have uh, time for a bonus game. So as I mentioned at the beginning, uh, if I have time, and I have time obviously, we are going to play Sarah is Missing, which is, um, I think it was ported from mobile games. Yeah, it was a mobile game and it was ported to PC. So yeah, we are going to, uh, we are going to investigate the disappearance of friends uh sarah who left her mobile phone and we are going to look for clues through the mobile phone it's like oh, i i wanted to say the title too too quickly don't mind me i can't speak at all oh what's the what's the name of it oh god don't mind me, my brain just froze, but I will remember it pretty soon. So, yeah, what's important that I'm gonna have um, around the five minutes of break. And uh, that's going to be, you know, perfect for some bathroom break. I'm gonna refill my water mug uh, and uh, I will set up the game. Our upcoming game so i think it's going to be five to ten minutes now that i really think about it uh until then you can have some time to to get some you know snacks some water to have a bathroom bear bathroom break just like me and then we will be back with sarah is missing yeah it's been such a long time since i've seen someone play it and they haven't even played it before i was looking for you know, a shorter uh, but creepy game to play if uh, I finish um, quickly with Clock Tower 3 and somehow, somehow I ended up getting this but I have many other, uh, many other ideas if something like this happens in the future uh, but yeah, back to the break time so I'm just gonna switch to be right back you can listen to some nice future future funk songs and uh, we will see each other in 5 to 10 minutes. <laughs>